recently it's been brought to my attention that we may have an opportunity to compete with Tombstone again later this year. Um, we don't have a TV contract yet. They're still working on it. This, that's not a done deal. Don't everybody panic when I talk about this. So they're still working on a new TV contract. But as it sits right now, uh, we don't have one, but they'd still like to run uh, some of the real robots and do some filming and whatnot, and they're going to set up something to run on YouTube later this year. And so they have a they have a game plan, just a few robots, not a big wide open tournament, but it's it's going to be interesting. And of course, Tombstone should be there. Uh, you know, the only time BattleBots is doing anything, Tombstone should in fact be there. So recently, this did get announced kind of greg talked about it a little bit at one of the panels at open sauce in september could you ask that because in september october november of this year in vegas we're going to invite the, the pros to come and do little mini tournaments and then put them on youtube exclusively and try that as an experiment to see what kind of audience we can get what kind of sponsors we could bring to the table and maybe that's a business model away from television that could work in the future so I'm going to have to get Tombstone ready then for combat. Um, and there are, there are things that I definitely want to change. So this is, this is how it last was set up to compete when we ran it at the Amazon Remarge event. And we made some changes to the robot for that event that were, that were both good and not. Um, so I'd swapped out the drive motor setup before I was using the NPC motors, which worked fine for years, but the shock loads were starting to get a little higher, and so I wanted to use the, the mag motor setup. Unfortunately, in mounting these in, the, the NPC gearbox, the output shaft is offset slightly forward. So where these wheels are is, I don't know, three quarters of an inch further back than where they were before. And you wouldn't think that would make a huge difference in how the robot drives, and in fact it did. It moves the center of balance even more nose-heavy than it was, and so when you try to drive, uh, these would tend to spin rather than move the robot. So even though there's more power now than what I had before, it drove less efficiently. So one of the things I'm going to have to do before this sees combat again is figure out a way to move the drive motor setup forward. Um, which is going to require some butchery on the frame to make this happen. Um, so I need to redesign some things to make that happen. Now I do have clearance. So there's quite a bit of clearance between the weapon bar and here. So this can actually come forward you know, a couple of inches fairly easily. Um, so I may be able to move the motors both forward in ever so slightly because there's a fairly substantial gap between uh, the back of the motors and the weapon motor. So that would be, that would change the way this drives and would improve the way it drives to do that motion. Uh, another thing that had been proven to be an issue was obviously the way the batteries are laid out. For years, what we had done was just pack the, the batteries in here and, and cushion them with some closed cell foam. And for years and years that worked fine. In fact, when I won the championship, that's how we had our batteries set in there. The problem these days is that the impact loads are just simply higher than they used to be. And those batteries would move far enough in there to cause damage to them. And so it sounds backwards, but the reality is you need to be constrained more than the foam was doing in order to protect them. And uh, what we plan on doing is setting up some of the 3D printed battery boxes in the back, similar to what I did with Mortician. I'll have to print several of them and set it up across the back so that I have enough batteries to provide power for everything. But that's going to be something 100% that's going to need to be done is I'm going to have to reconfigure the wiring.
to handle a setup to run those batteries that way. That would be a fairly major improvement to do that. Another problem that we had was the contactor that I'm using to turn the weapon on, which I have used forever. Um, we've reached the point now where I'm sourcing enough current to the weapon motor that we had that contactor weld in the closed position. Uh, and this is, this is really scary in a robot like Tombstone. If you can't turn the weapon off, this is, this is a bad thing. So I'm going to have to redesign how we activate the weapon motor. Uh, there are some large speed controllers that, that work in this arrangement. I'd have to find one that physically can fit in this space because sometimes they're physically fairly large. Another option I have is possibly using two contactors and splitting the brushes out so each contactor sees half the load of what this one contactor is seeing right now. I haven't come to terms yet with what I'm going to do there, but I have to change something there because this is, this is problematic from a reliability standpoint, but more importantly, it's a problem from a safety standpoint. You need to be able to turn the robot off, so that 100% has to change. So, I have my work cut out for me. Now, I've got this frame, and I've got one more frame, so I have the ability to set up two with this arrangement. Eventually, I would like to redesign these frames differently than what this sits, but for something that's going to happen later this year, I'm probably not going to have time for that, so I'm going to use those two frames. Another thing that, that makes this interesting is my plan has always been to let Justin drive Tombstone next year rather than me. Um, everybody's going to go, oh yeah, because your hand's screwed up. No, I'm, I'm, the hand works fine. I've driven plenty of robots since then. Um, this isn't based on anything other than the fact that he would like to, and he's my son, and I'm going to give him that opportunity. So uh, this is a great chance for him then to drive Tombstone in the BattleBots arena at not a BattleBots tournament that's on TV. So this is a great learning opportunity for him. So I want to get this set up as well as I can to make that happen. So right now, that's the game plan. Uh, Tombstone is going to be back in the arena and in combat later this year. Um, and all of it will be filmed directly for YouTube, so everybody will have access to see this. So in that regard, I'm looking forward to it. It should be a lot of fun. And uh, so over the next you know, few months, you should start seeing some progress videos on me doing the updates on Tombstone because I've got a lot of work to do to get it ready and only a few months to get that done. So uh, look for some more content. It's, this is going to be fun. <laughs>